Welcome to the LGBT Resource Center. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our space as well as talk about a couple of services that we provide. Right now, we are in our first of two lounge spaces. You can access it through both a staircase as well as an accessible entrance to the elevator. To my left, we have our front desk, which is staffed by our front desk uh, staff. Um, and our office is open 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. Um, you can access specific resources directly from our staff, um, but you can also set up one-on-ones with the director, as well as graduate staff and interns and additional staff in case you need that one-on-one -on -one interaction and resources directly from um, them. You can also access uh, grab and go resources, which includes some of our pronoun stickers here, and on the wall, some pamphlets for both on and off campus resources. You can also uh, grab up some kind of free contraceptives as well as menstrual products provided by the LGBT Resource Center. Over this direction, we have our office space for our director, which is myself. Like I said before, you can set up one-on-one -on -one meetings with me to talk about a variety of things, which includes your own identity, your own experiences, maybe needing to access resources about those, or just kind of talk to somebody about them. You can also access crisis resources through me, and I can connect you to both on and off campus uh, resources um, here at St. Cloud State or within the St. Cloud community. You can also just kind of pop in and chat with me at any time, and we can connect on, on various things too. Back over here, we have our computer lab. Typically, this is used by students to do classwork, access things on the web, um, as well as um, anything for courses too. You can print from these computers, but it is outside the resource center. Over this direction, we have additional office space, uh, typically used by our graduate assistant, our graduate interns, um, and additional staff. You can set up one-on-one -on -one meetings with some of our graduate interns and staff um, to talk about resources um, or anything that you need to chat with them about. Um, and you can also kind of touch base with them um, daily just by popping in to this office space. Back this direction, we have our second lounge space, um, which houses our lending library. We are the third largest uh, queer and trans uh, specific library in the state of Minnesota. Similar to any other library, you can rent out books uh, for a period of time, and then of course we expect you to return them. Um, back in this space, we host a lot of events, um, which include our weekly programs. Uh, two of those are our Inquiry, which is a queer culture discourse space, as well as our gamer um, programming, where you can um, play video games, board games, and card games uh, with different queer and trans folk, or you can even bring your own. Um, we do have a couple of systems and board games that you can play with. Uh, our second um, thing that use, utilizes this space is our affinity spaces, which are identity specific closed group spaces. And the two that we currently have are religious slash spiritual, as well as queer and trans people of color. Throughout the year, we do a variety of programs, both large and small. Just wanted to share with you a couple that we do. During the fall semester, uh, we celebrate LGBT History Month through a couple of events, like our big picture, as well as coming out open mic night where we have people share about their coming out stories through song, dance, poetry, and a certain amount of other things. In the month of November, we do one of our favorite programs called Harvest Dinner, where we collaborate with other entities across campus to do a Thanksgiving style dinner for anybody that's not able to go home for any various reasons for the holidays. We also celebrate Trans Awareness Week through many programs focused on issues that trans folk face, as well as celebrating transness overall. During the spring semester, one of our favorite programs is Out Proud Week, where we do a variety of programs focused about celebrating the identities and the experiences of LGBTQ plus people, as well as uh, bringing awareness around some of the great things that LGBTQ plus people have done throughout history. We also like to celebrate people for the work that they've done. So we have our Pride Awards and Library Graduation at the end of the spring semester to celebrate people who have done LGBTQ work on and off campus, as well as our LGBTQ graduates for Lavender Graduation for the spring semester, as well as the upcoming fall semester. Throughout the year, besides our large programs, we do tons of smaller programs. And to learn more about everything, um, please follow us on our social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as check on our website for any updates that we have. So 
So one of the many ways to get involved with LGBTQ things on campus is um, is joining a student organization. And one of those is Pride, where they do internal and external programming um, throughout the campus. And one of the huge events that they do is Queer Prom, uh, where they um, where they hold a, a, a prom for high school or for LGBTQ high school seniors. Another organization is called Drag Troop. Uh, with, um, where they do um, performances biannually throughout the year, one in the fall and one in the spring, and they also do amateur night as well. There's also a Pride Living community as well, um, um, where, um, where it's an all gender, all sexuality inclusive on, ca on campus housing option. And to learn more about that information, go to the, residence, to the Residential Life website. Another opportunity is to volunteer within the LGBT Resource Center and you can volunteer uh, with the many programs that we uh, offer throughout the year. And the last one is the LGBTQ uh, 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 Leadership Retreat, where we help to develop queer and trans student leadership skills. To educate about LGBT plus issues, the LGBT Resource Center has two educational programs that we do. The first one is called Safe Space Training, which we provide three trainings per semester to help individuals be better advocates for the LGBT plus community. So not only do they learn about the coming out process as well as coming into one's identity, but also how to use skills of advocacy to support LGBTQ people in their family, in their amongst their peers, as well in the, as in the work that they do. The second educational piece that we have is our speaker workshop request. So you might see us actually come into your classroom and talk about a variety of LGBTQ topics, ranging from LGBTQ terminology to LGBTQ history and current issues within the LGBTQ community. Thank you for coming along on a tour of the LGBT Resource Center and learning about the services we provide. We are excited to have you as part of our family.